Hello, I thought I'd share a video on how to produce a material keynote for your finished floor plans. On the, on the screen currently, you see the finished floor plan here, and there's a legend at the bottom of the screen that describes what each of the different floor patterns are, are used for. So for example, here, for any given hatch pattern, um, you've got these different graphics that describe where they're located on the floor plan in a black and white drawing and what materials are being used in those areas. So carbon top number one, CPT number one here is, is a grid basically. So this area here is all gridded. So that must be carbon tile number one. So let's produce something similar in your project. So in Revit here, let's say we want to put the legend over here to the left side of the screen. This is the finished floor plan sheet. So let's do a little formatting here. Um, let's Double click in this view and let's grab this crop box and move it over to the edge of the building. Next, let's get rid of information that's not really relevant. I'm gonna go to VG, VG, visibility graphics, I'm gonna go annotation categories, and I'll turn them all off because they shouldn't be present in that view. And finally, I'm gonna hide things that aren't relevant to the finished floor plan of the interiors, the street and sidewalk. I'm gonna drag my mouse through both of those, right click, hide in view those elements. Double click on the sheet. So there's the there's the title. I'm going to grab the title and drag it over here next to the drawing. There's the finished floor plan. And I, I, I'm doing this area here to the left as a area for a legend. Now, um, you can do legends going to view command, legends, legend here, or in your project uh, browser here. Uh, you can basically right click on legends and hit it and create a new legend. Here's going to ask you for a scale. Ideally, um, let's try to make it the same scale of the floor plan itself. So this is going to be an eighth inch floor plan legend. I'm going to call this um, material keynotes. And on this, this area, I'm going to draw different shapes to represent each of the different uh, floor tiles. So to do that, I'm going to go to annotate. I'm going to region. And I'm going to draw a rectangle. Hit OK. Now, ideally, that rectangle should be about the size of a few tiles on your floor plan so that it matches the same scale as your drawings. Your drawings are eighth inch. So let's, let's say we, uh, we click on this boundary. We go edit boundary and let's make sure this is, uh, let's call it four foot even. Let's see how big four feet is on the page. So it's four feet even, hit OK. So if you've got a hatch pattern of a given shape, it's called a material keynote here. I go to my sheets. Uh, let's double click on the finished floor plan here. And let's drag that keynote onto the page. So if I grab that keynote, drag and drop, hold onto it, drag it, drop it off, place it on the sheet, and a four by four area should be able to pick up these patterns here. If not, we can make it bigger. But ideally, you want it to be big enough to actually show the pattern, the same pattern, inside the square that, you, that you're using in the floor plan. Notice that this thing comes with a title. It has a little title block assigned to it. Click on it. The title is called viewport number, viewport number One. If I click on the floor plan, its title is called Viewport Number One. The thing is, I want the title for the floor plan. I do not want the title for these little keynotes. I want to make my own title. And again, if you look at the set of drawings, there it is right there. Material keynotes, it's text, underline. Let's do something similar. So let's go here, click on this, and you go edit type for that viewport. This is the title. I'm gonna make another title, copy this one, and I'm gonna turn off the text. So I'll duplicate this. I'll call it viewport, uh, no title. So I know what it's for. And then here where it says show title, I'm going to say no. Hit OK. The title disappears. So that has no title. And we can't use the same one as this floor plan because it would hide this one as well. That's why I duplicated it and made that one hidden. This one is not hidden. This one's still called viewport number one. This one's called viewport no title. Now, if I double click on this little swatch here, I launch the. Um, material keynote drawing. 
So double click it here or double click it here in, a, in your project browser it makes no difference. Double click it here. It launches it on the sheet. And next to them, I'll put some text. So here under annotate, here's text. I'm going to click on the screen and I'm going to label it. Um, carpet. Now that text is a little wonky, so I'm going to grab this little grip and make it long. And just to give me enough space, I'll call it carpet tile CPT-1. I want it all on one line though. I'm going to make that text longer. I'm going to position it here. Let's say somewhere about there. I'm going to duplicate and put it on top. This one's going to be used for the title. So I'll call this, uh, let's call it material keynote. So let's go in here and just type over this information. Material keynotes. Okay. And again, pull on the little grip there to make it longer. Click on this. This is called quarter inch aerial. I want it to be taller. Um, Title block is, is taller than the rest of the standard text. So this text here is currently a quarter. I'm going to make it 330 seconds. That seems more appropriate. And here I can make this one taller if I want by simply going to edit type, duplicating that text, and changing the size here. This is how big it'll be when it prints out. This is the font you're using. This is the color of the title block. You can change this if you like. Let's see, I'll leave it alone for now. In fact, you know what I'll, I'll do? I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it, and, and I'll call it the uh, underline, the underline style. Or I'll call it uh, title underline. And here, I will simply turn on underline command by turning that box on. I can make the text a little bit narrower, let's say 0.75 to just push the text if I want that stylistically. Okay, you see, it becomes that. So there's my title called title underline. There's my text. This is 330 second aerial line. This is my first block. This is going to become carpet tile number one hatch pattern. And so make the others. Now let's see how many floor finishes there are there in this drawing. Double click on the sheet, double click on this view and go, pretend you can make a floor. So go here, go to floor. And let's see what they have. Carpet, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, fine. That's what we're gonna be using. So quit, get out of this sketch of a floor, double click on the sheet, and double click here on this little legend. Double click on it. Now, grab that text, and maybe grab that, that text and the graphic. Copy command and copy it down one. There. Then copy to copy the copy. <laughs> grab the copy. Duplicate and duplicate it from corner to corner. This corner to the exact same corner here. Same corner here. Same corner here. That way they're equally spaced. And change this to be two, um, three. Uh, I'm assuming they're all carpet tile. They might be other materials. Again, name it accordingly. I'm going to assume it's CPT number one, two, three. These are all carpet, maybe. Now let's find what that carpet number one looks like. And so again, go to the floor plan. Pretend you're making a floor. Go here, grab carpet down, carpet down number one. And let's see what it looks like under it. How does it appear in a floor plan? What hatch patterns are they using? Carpet down number one is using a 24 by 48 ceiling with a gift and plaster background behind it. Okay. So we're gonna to have to copy that exact design into this region. Double click on the sheet, double click on the keynote. This pattern here, click on this, this pattern has to change to the same style as carpet number one. So regions are basically shapes that have a cross hatch or a, any hatch really filled in the shape. For example, here they got different styles um, of different hats. For example, you know, solid, solid black. They've got other styles set up here. Now we're going to grab this. We're going to make another style that matches carpet tile number one on the floor plan. We're going to edit type, duplicate. Uh, let's be consistent. It's called carpet tile number one. And here is the foreground pattern. Here's the background pattern. Fill in the blanks with the hatch chose for the floor. 
So for example, here they chose model uh, 24 by 48. And here they chose as a background, they chose plastic, this one. Hit OK. And hopefully this box here is big enough to show that pattern. If it's not, that box needs to grow. Maybe it's not four by four, maybe it's eight by eight. It has to be big enough to show the pattern you're using inside this box. That's carpet tile number one. We're good. Let's find carpet tile number two. Double click on the, on the, on the background. Double click on the floor plan, pretend to launch a floor, and let's take a look at carpet tile number two. What pattern are they using? Carpet tile number two is using uh, this herringbone pattern 3x without a background. Okay, fine. Easy enough. Cancel out of this command. Cancel. Basically cancel. Double click on the background. Double click on your keynote. Choose your hatch, your what's called a region. Edit type duplicated. Call it, call it carpet tile number two. And then choose your hatch pattern here. Is it drafting or is it model? I think it was a model hatch pattern. Scroll down here. There it is, herringbone number three. I guess they must have taken this herringbone here, duplicated it with the copy command. With a little pencil, they made it at the bottom here three times bigger. So it actually appears on the floor plan. Otherwise, if the scale's too small on the sheet, it's going to be single color you're not gonna be able to see the different patterns it's gotta be big enough exaggerate the size so it's three times bigger call three three x hit okay hit okay there crystal clear that that is carpet tile number two and if you look at the floor plan double click on the sheet you can see where carpet tile number two is it's in here right there that scale that pattern has to be big enough so when you're looking at a sheet Very quickly, you can you can make out a pattern right there. It's not it's not a, some tiny little graphic that it's hard to read. It should be nice and big. Uh, and so when this prints out, uh, this this pattern is visible. It'll it'll print out, and you can see here where it's being where it's being used. It's carpet tile number two, and that is the hatch we're looking for. That's it. Create a keynote schedule, draw it on a sheet, format this page to look correct, and you're on your way to completing a material keynote schedule or legend. Thanks.